Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming to you from the Digital Studios of Market Club. And we'll take a look at the S&P 500 as we usually do on a Friday. And we're starting a little different, we're starting on a daily chart today. Just so I can show you the red weekly trade triangle that entered on the 4th at 3,789.54. Pushing the chart analysis scored a negative 60 entering a sidelines position for the S&P 500. However, we did have a bit of a bounce back today in a wild trading session. But we can also point out that we'll turn the 20-day uh, moving average off of here. But you can see when it broke down and triggered that red weekly, it broke below its 50-day moving average. And then bounce back uh, to finish above it today, finishing trading at 3,841.94. So we'll have to see if there's a follow through next week or if, could we see a continued move lower. So usually on Friday, we'll switch to a weekly chart. We'll give you currently here up about eight tenths of a percent on the week. And our key level to watch will be 3,950.43. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a long position for the S&P 500. We on the dollar index had an outstanding week up 1.2% trading above 92, hitting a high on the daily session at 92.19. Currently chart analysis scores plus 90 with green trade triangles across the board will change back to a daily chart to hit because we triggered a new green monthly trade triangle today at 91. 94 so we are now in a long-term up position for the u.s dollar key level to watch will be 89.68 a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a sidelines position for the u.s dollar take a look at the dow jones also joined the nasdaq and the s p 500 triggering a new red weekly trade triangle yesterday at 30,911.37, pushing that chart analysis score right now to plus 60. So we're in a sidelines position just on the higher side than the S&P 500. And that was really due to the move today. It had been down as much as uh, 150 points in early trading. It finished up 572 points today at 31,496.30. But on a weekly level, uh, finished higher than both the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, gaining 1.82%. That's why that chart analysis score is a plus 60 and not in a negative with that red weekly trade triangle. Key level to watch would be 31,668.34. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a long position for the Dow. Hardest hit of the three indexes this week was the NASDAQ finishing down a little over 2% to 12,920.15 with a chart analysis score negative 60 indicating that we're still in a sidelines position before the NASDAQ and in fact that will be its third straight week of declines. Key level to watch would be 14,175.12. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a long position for the NASDAQ. Gold continuing to be put under pressure, trading down at 1,698.60, down a little over 2% on the week with a chart analysis score negative 90, indicating that we're in a long-term downtrend for gold. And this will be its third straight week of declines. Key level to watch will be 1,714.70. A move above that level will issue a green daily trade triangle, indicating a move to a short-term sidelines position for gold. Crude oil continuing to move higher, traded as high as 66.40, uh, up 7.6% on the week with a chart analysis score of plus 100, indicating that we're in a long-term uptrend for crude oil. Key level to watch would be $60.67. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle, indicating a move to a sidelines position in the short-term time frame for crude oil. We'll wrap it up with Bitcoin back out of here was able to bounce back after losing 21 percent last week currently up 5.4 percent on the day and up a little over 10 percent on the week trading at 49,240.55 with a chart analysis score plus 80 indicating that we're still in a long-term uptrend key level to watch is going to be significantly tighter now that we've kind of rolled over the top here it's 43,021 i moved below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position for Bitcoin. So we'll need to keep an eye on that and rolling into next week. With that, Eric success. Have a great weekend. We'll be back next week with a weekly market update.